Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, England international player Charlotte Bardsley is going to demonstrate the serve which she most likes to use. And what's interesting about Charlotte's approach is she uses her favourite serve not necessarily to try and win the point, but to set up the type of rally where she can dominate. So it's a slightly different way of thinking about how you serve. And Charlotte's gonna go into a bit more detail about the way she serves and how it sets up her strengths. My favorite serve is uh, side spin, top spin, short side spin, top spin, or just dropping off the end of the table. Um, the reason why I like this serve is because, based on my game, I don't necessarily serve to directly win the point. Um, I'm serving in a way so that it kind of sets up the rally uh, how, I, how I want it. So I think that's perhaps something that people should think about, is not necessarily are they serving in a way so that they, their next ball is what they want and it's their strength. So a good thing about side spin, top spin serve is you're putting two spins on the ball. So I would always recommend that you, you try to put multiple spins on the ball. It becomes hard, hard for the opponent to control. So what you need to do is you need to angle your racket pointed down. And you want to hit the side of the ball and then pull up at the end. And essentially what you want the ball to do is skid on your side and then kick on the opponent's. The good thing about it is that because it's side spin and top spin, because of the side spin, it keeps it a bit lower, which means that then they, they might confuse it with a back spin, say. When I place the ball, I'm aiming for the spot between someone's backhand and their forehand received. So they're unsure whether to come in with the backhand or come in with the forehand. It's quite an uncomfortable place to serve, sort of here, going into someone's backhand, because they're not sure what to do. If they push it, the ball's going to sit up that's you know, easy for me to hit it, or they flick it, and generally speaking, because of the spin, they tend to play back to my back end or around here, and that's what I want, because I want to be able to play my back end or I want to turn. Yeah, well, that was gonna, always going to happen, wasn't it? <laughs> come on. Like, it's good for me, because I, want it, I generally prefer it to come back here, yeah. because then I can dictate with my back end. And if it is, you know, popped up, then I will turn and play my forehand. Yeah. Perfect example. Just yeah. that little pop up. Yeah. It so only needs a small little bit of topspin to, yeah. for, for them to, to misread it. Obviously, the more topspin you go for, the more obvious it is. So if you really go like this, sometimes maybe you might want to do it once or twice, but if you do it really obvious, people can see it and they're going to flick it. If you just do it the last second, just a, a tiny bit, it's enough for the ball to sit up. You only want the ball to sit up slightly for them to misjudge it and push it and then that's really good. Mm. Or even if they do read it, they're going to flick it and you know that, you know you've done a topspin serve, so if they've seen it, it's, it's going to be flicked, you're, you're ready and waiting. So I think it's good because it gives you a lot of options. And also, a lot of people think that like they have to do crazy things on their serves. Like you can, but sometimes I think like simple is actually better because if it's simple, you kind of can you kind of have more control over what spin's gonna come back. But often I found that okay, it's good. I would say it's good to have really spinny serves as well. Like it's good to have that to make them make a mistake. But equally, I will do a really spinny serve and. Someone gets it back and I get back all their the spin, it's yeah. uncomfortable. Whereas if I do this serve, I, I kind of know exactly what I'm going to get back. Yeah. And I can deal with it. So. Yes, makes sense. Ah, Tom! Ah, yeah, that was a good one. That really jammed me up. Oh, nice, good shot. I would say with this serve, if you can, you can play with the length slightly. Even if then they, they know that it's this topspin serve, but then they're not sure, is it short? Is it just coming off the end? Is it long? So then you're adding in more layers of confusion. 
So I just think that the serve's got a lot of a lot of versatility in terms of if you change the length, how that can put the opponent sort of on the back foot. They're not sure. So even if they can read the spin, they they still might make a mistake because they're not sure exactly whereabouts it's coming. Oh, that's way too passive. Hitting zone. Well played. 10 9. <laughs> Match point. <laughs> ah. Nice, mate. Well played. Well played. Well played very well, yeah. So, there's a different way of thinking about service. I think a lot of time players think that um, unless their serve is going to win them the point outright, then it's not a good serve. But that is not the case. If you can serve in a way in which it sets up your strengths, where you can dominate the rally, then that is a really strong service strategy to have. Um, thank you very much for Charlotte for sharing those tips. I will have plenty more videos coming soon or take a look at one of these other videos.